Sunday morning and welcome to our worship service at the Priceville Church of Christ. It is our favorite day of the week. It is Sunday, the first day of the week. It is the Lord's Day. And so we are happy to be gathered together today to spend some time in worship to our amazing God, to spend some time in song and praise together, to spend some time, most importantly, in God's Word on this wonderful Sunday morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. At this time, we're going to set aside everything that may distract us from our task at hand this morning, and our task at hand is to focus solely on worshiping our God. So we're going to begin that at this time. Thank you so much for joining us today. Our first hymn this morning will be singing How Deep the Father's Love, first and last verse. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss the father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory i will not boast in any no gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Why, why should I gain from him? reward I cannot give an answer but this I know with all my heart his wounds have paid my ransom but this I know my ransom. Our next song we'll be singing from 800 in our hymn books, which is, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. What a Friend We Have in Jesus. We'll sing the first and last verse of the song. First and last verse. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege. 
privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Are you weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Precious Savior, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise forsake thee? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Thou will find a solace there. And now we'll have our scripture reading and prayer. Our scripture reading this morning will be coming from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 11 through 15. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, and we'll be reading for, um, from verses 11 through 15. For we hear that some among you are leading an undisciplined life, doing no work at all, but acting like busy bodies. Now such persons we command and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ to work in quiet fashion and eat their own bread. But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary of doing good. If anyone does not obey our instruction in this letter, take special note of that person and do not associate with him, so that he will be put to shame. Yet do not regard him as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day that you allowed us to live in and enjoy and serve you at this time. Father, we're so grateful and so um, humbled to for you to allow us to come together or allowing us to worship you on this day and to, and to learn from your words that we may use in our walk with you. Father, before I get any further in this prayer, I ask you please forgive me of my sins that I may stand worthy to speak for the foe. Father, we ask you please be with the members of our congregation this morning. We ask that you would look upon them if they're going through any troubles or any pains. We ask them to heal with their inflictions if it be at your will. Father, we ask you to continue to be with the leaders of this country and help them make godly and wise decisions. Father, we ask you please be with Brother Eric as he gives us the word of life this morning. We ask that uh, whatever message he's about to preach to us, that it would touch our hearts and minds and we may use in our walk with you. Father, again, we thank you so much for everything, including the gift of your son, Jesus. We just ask that you please forgive us our sins and we fall short of your glory and help us pick us back up when we come back to you with a whole repentant heart. Father, again, we thank you so much for your son and what he did for us. It's through his name we pray. Amen. Our next song will be singing 508, A Wonderful Savior. 508, A Wonderful Savior. All verses to the song. <laughs> 